In this video, you're going to see a way that you can get your players to work on their offhand, both stationary with using a medicine ball and on the drive with using a cone and a partner. Using a training tool is not something that you have to do, but it is a great way to connect the game to your training. I'm Coach Nick Aldero. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. Click that like button if you find this video of any value. And also drop a comment about anything that stood out to you or any other videos that you'd like to see. All right, let's get to the video. So the first thing we're doing here is each player has a small medicine ball. And what they're trying to do is have a straight pound dribble as hard and fast as they can, hitting that same spot over and over again. Their feet are wide and stationary. We want to work on controlling the feet. And we want to see if they can toss the medicine ball up underhand and quickly catch it facing downward. So what this is going to do is it's going to test the player's ability to separate their hands, meaning when their left hand is doing one action, can their right hand do another? Does the medicine ball or their offhand slow down their dribble? A lot of times you will find that that object, whatever you use, whether it's a tennis ball or a medicine ball, or hitting an object will slow down a player's dribble. We want to make dribbling so second nature that whatever happens on that left side, whether it's somebody reaching in, hitting a player's hand away, it's not going to affect whatever you want to do with the right side. So here we're just trying to really go for hard, strong, fast, straight pound dribbles, meaning their hand stays on top and they're going to hit the same box or spot every time on that mat. That's one of the reasons those mats are really good because you can see exactly where you're dribbling. So that's for control. And then, like I said before, can you, as a player, toss the medicine ball up very, very quickly as if it's like a hot potato and catch it facing down as fast as you can while maintaining the speed of your dribble? So that's one way you could do it stationary. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is a great game connector. A lot of times players can dribble really well with nothing else going on with their offhand, or they might even drop their offhand. Uh, this forces you to have accountability, and what's great about the medicine ball is it has weight to it. Hey, if you're looking for extra help and you want a step-by-step -step program to improve your ball handling or shooting, uh, there's links in the description or there's also going to be a link in the first comment. We offer some free resources, and then, of course, we offer a step-by-step -step plan as well but that's only if you want extra help for those really serious players and if you see that little uh that little line go by that says homework that's just something that we do for our players in person we give them homework uh, each week they see this video usually these videos are private to them this one is like a little sneak peek of kind of what we do on a on a weekly basis with training and what our homework assignment was this past week and it was as you can see written on there it was what's called hot potato when we're trying to maintain our dribble as fast as we can while tossing up and catching down as fast as we can as well so that was their homework assignment everybody in our training program always is held accountable to training on their own because obviously if they just train with me you know here and there uh, they're not going to get as better if they do the work on their own. And that is a requirement in our program. Are you working and, and taking this seriously on your own? Some kids take it a little bit more seriously. Some kids not so much. The kids who do take it seriously and do the work on their own, they get better, quicker, faster results. All right, let's get back to the video. So in our next segment here, the partner is standing in front of the dribbler and they're gonna hold the ball up about forehead to eye level and they have to drop it and then the ball handler has to catch it before it hits the ground now in a game you wouldn't most likely protect with your palm up this is just kind of a reaction thing uh, that we were doing just to test the players ability to maintain their dribble again while having a active offhand but not obviously not the most realistic offhand because you would normally swipe away defenders hands uh, going downward with your palm but it's still a great drill now she right there she extended her hand out too soon you got to wait for the ball to be dropped and then you have to react so here's another great reaction drill not so much an offhand drill but a crossover drill he's going to wait and then as soon as it's dropped he has to cross underneath it without it hitting the without the basketball hitting the medicine ball maintain his dribble 
keep his dribble and bend at the waist even more to pick up the medicine ball and toss it back to his partner. So that's one way you can really work on having a, a quicker crossover right there because it's going to really challenge you to to go underneath that ball and you don't really have time to do anything else but to you almost like jolting jolt crossing underneath the medicine ball and it forces a lot of players to actually lose it now we're on to our next segment this is a awesome way to make sure a player has their offhand out and it's just by holding the cone and you could do this you don't need a cone but it's just another way to hold the player accountable without you know you can actually hold the person's wrist it doesn't really matter but we have cones so we use them and they're just going to drive on a curve because most drives happen on a curve and then they have to finish at the mat right in front of the rim so it's really focusing on having that player hold out that offhand and get a feeling of what it's like for it to be engaged the entire time on the move. Now here we went to a what's called our drop into a crossover. So this is a little bit more advanced. Wow, that guy's really good looking. So she's going to drop, crossover, and then get her hand right back on the cone. So looking in slow motion, Ashley's going to start with her hand engaged right there. There's her drop. Her feet split apart. Makes it look like she's driving right. And now she crosses over. She's got to get that hand right back engaged to swipe away any defender's hands. And she takes one motion step, two motion steps, and puts it down on the third. And now, instead of driving f all the way to the rim, she has to pull up from the mat. That's the space she has. So that's a great way to engage on keeping the ball in the same hand and then engage with that offhand, fighting away defender's hands off of a crossover. A lot of times, the players will lose it after that. So here is Lola. She's only, she's only in third grade. Uh, a lot of times, players hold the cone the wrong way. So we just had to fix that real quick. So we're looking for her to split her feet apart to make it like look like she's going right first. And then she's going to be hitting you with the crossover. So let's see her feet. Let's see if she drops, meaning her feet split apart. The ball goes to her pocket. And she does what's called an inverted drop there. That's okay. So she crosses over, gets her hand right back to the cone, and now she's driving on a circle. That hand is not dropped by the side. It's still engaged. Remember, you don't need a cone. It's just one way to do this. So definitely give these a try. You're going to find that your players uh, are, have, a, have a much better understanding of what it's like to use their offhand going hand-to-hand. Because -hand. in order to score, you got to face the defense. Now, you can't always use your body to protect the ball. you got to use your hands. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. Click that like button if you find this video of any value. Drop a comment about anything that stood out to you what you liked, what you hated, and or just let me know uh, another video that you would like to see. I hope that helps. I will see you next time.